Hello, my name is Hayadili Ashur Rizvi and this is my second video of my final year project part 1, which is the certificate verification using the blockchain technology, which is supervised by Mr. Sully Ismail. So these are the content I would be going through in this video, but before that, I would just like to do a quick recap on what we saw in our previous video. So I went through the overview of the project and why this needs to be implemented. So let's recap for a minute about how blockchain works. So a blockchain is literally a chain of blocks. It is a growing list of records called blocks that are linked using cryptography. Each block contains data in them which is encrypted with a cryptographic hash of the previous block. So that's just the overview of what blockchain is. So this is a brief step-by-step -step process overview of the project. So first, when the university issues the certificate, the university has to send student name, degree program, and the certificate ID, and they have to store it as a smart contract. And then the smart contract checks that the information is originated from the university, and if yes, then it logs the information as an event. And now, having the certificate ID, one can inquire about the blockchain events and find out whether the certificate with this ID was actually issued by the university and they can trace its authenticity. So that's how the front end process is going to look like. But what about the back end, the code and what platform would be using? We would be using Ethereum. Ethereum is an open source a software platform based on blockchain technology that enables the developer to build and deploy the decentralized application. And we would be working on Ethereum virtual machine, which is online. So what about the code? And why is it better for blockchain? So now we know that all of the data on Ethereum blockchain is decentralized and secured. Now likewise, all of the data on blockchain is shared and also unchangeable. The Ethereum blockchain allows us to write code that we could deploy to our blockchain and know that the network will execute the code and that is very important for our project as we don't want any authenticity of our certificate to change. Now how do we write the code of the decentralized application? Well there is something called smart contract. See Ethereum allows us to write the contract that gets executed on Ethereum virtual machines with smart contracts. And this is where all the business logic and our application will lie. And this is where we would be writing our code as well. It will be in charge of reading and writing the data, transferring value, and executing any logic that we program. A smart contract is kind of like a microservice that lives on the web. If the public ledger represents the data layer of the blockchain, then the smart contract represents the data layer that reads writes the data. A smart contract is mostly referred to like an agreement or like a contract. A smart contract is written in language called Solidity, which is a lot like JavaScript and we would be using this Solidity language to write our smart contracts in this project. Now let's take a quick glance on what is DApp or DAP and we would be looking into the structure of it as well. A DApp is a decentralized application and it is decentralized in every way. The network is decentralized because it is peer-to-peer, -peer. the data is decentralized because it is shared across the devices in the network, and the code is decentralized because it is also shared and executed across the devices in the network. Now let's take a quick glance on the structure of the decentralized application. First, we'll have an end-user application written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we will write all the code to the decentralized application with smart contract and we will compile that and deploy it to our backend blockchain. So that's it for this video and these are some of the references I've used to compile and gather the information and I will be putting out a much more detailed video next. I appreciate you taking your time out to watch this video. Thank you so much.